Oh man. Oh man. What's up, everybody? <coughs> I know. I know. What a time to be alive. Sorry, cat saying hi. First and foremost, let's get let's get let's get this out of the way. You see what it is. Y'all know what it is. Red October, baby. Right here. Yes, sir. Billy's baseball. <coughs> like I can, but I can't believe it. it seems that there's so much shit. <coughs> oh my god. Like, dude. I couldn't be any happier. Like, this, this, this really seems maybe hard to beat. Oh. It's, this team is gonna be hard to beat. Last year, playoffs, we barely squeaked in. Couple of good games, couple of good homers. We got ourselves in a situation to get us to a wild world series. It was like an improbable run. <coughs> now we have. Now we have the team. Now we have the team. Whatever. Fuck. Fuck the Braves. I'm in the fucking division. I don't care. Participation trophy in my, my eyes. That's me. Yeah, that's great, but I think that's just a fucking participation trophy. It's just like the football. You don't need to win the division to win the chip. The ship, whatever you want to call it. The ship. You don't need to win the division to win the championships. <coughs> to help, of course. There's always, no. It's all in here. What you got right here? My god, man. Time to live it the fuck. Oh, oh bro. Oh, Red October, dude. Let's go. Let's go, Red October, baby. Let's fucking go! Fuck you, Mets! Fuck you, Mets! Fuck you, Marlins! We're coming for you, Braves! We're coming for ya. We're fucking coming for ya! Yeah! 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 Bryce Harper, fucking Trey Turner, Nikos Giannis has the biggest ball sack in the world! Oh my god, this team, dude! Ooh, it gives me fucking goosebumps, just like with the Eagles, man. We'll talk about the Eagles in a second. I just had to get that out of my system. Ah, Red October, baby, let's go! Let's go! Red October! Let's fucking... I knocked my day out. Fucking hype. Uh, Alright, anyways. Eagles now. <sighs> Three and oh. Eagles are 3 now. First two games were five days between each other. Didn't really have a week two, because suddenly we had two week one games, space. that's how I'm calling it. Like a week and a half, I guess. <laughs> huh. But man, hang on a second, I'm so sorry. I got myself all fucking hyped up. Fucking allergies. Nah, sorry about that. Anyways. Eagles are 3 now. Well, it is what it is. And here's the difference. Between the Eagles, and the Cowboys, Jalen and Dak. Jalen Hurts threw two picks. Still fucking one. That's what you call a man with balls. Dak Prescott, when he throwing those two picks, he'd be crying on the sideline. <laughs> That's not what winners fucking do. Not what winners do. That is not what winners do. Winners fucking Win. All I do is win, 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 win. Yeah. Since what? Last year, the regular season, Jalen Hurts is what? 22 and 23 and 1? Yeah. Yes. That's not clean playoffs. It's regular season games. It's like 22, 23 and 1. That's a fucking winner. That's Air Hurts, buddy. There's no Air Prescott. Where the fuck? You think Jordan wants anything to do with that fucking Prescott? I mean, I guess Nike kind of has maybe something to do with going on. That's not on a level like Jalen Hurts. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. See? Look. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Philadelphia, baby. Look at this. Look at this beauty of a mug. Look at that beauty. Got the love part, John, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Philly, Philly for life. Let's go. Philly, Philly for life. Yeah, 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 I know. 
do their celebration, cigar celebration, or whatever. I'm not really going to smoke cigar celebration. I'm just getting this shit off my chest. Laugh at the Cowboys fans. Seeing excited with the Phillies fans. Like, let's go! Oh, yeah. Flyers are on their way. Trust me. Flyers. Look, I know they're on the rebuild, but if they, this is the most. I know I'm gonna kind of kind of all over the place. I'm talking about the Eagles, but it's like I'm just so hyped up. Listen, yeah, the Flyers are still kind of whatever, but at the same time, it gives me optimism for what's in store for the Flyers. The Phillies and the Eagles have it basically. Where they're we coming. Where they here. They here. Flyers are probably just a few years behind. I don't know what the deals with the Sixers. The Union. I'm still a kind of a Union fan. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm still roll with roll with the boys in blue. They didn't get the shit together and win their fucking first championship. They've been, they get so close for so many years. They finally need to fucking get over that hump and win their damn, win them damn ring. Really needs a union parade. I wish I could be there. I may try to, depending on what's going on. But the union, but, dude, they're all right there. It's nice. It's just, eh. Not sure what's going on with them. I haven't really cared too much. <sighs> they're fucking stressing me out. Joe on the beach should at least had a one ring by now. Fuck's sake. I don't know it's his career, but you know we'll get into that anyway. But for right now, it's just like the Phillies and the Eagles, and the fact that the Eagles are three zero. And yeah, no, dude, I remember. Like I was actually going back to the game. I was watching some of the videos. People trying to take the day against Jalen Hurts, dude, and like yeah, no, nah, none of them was giving any respect that he deserved. Saying he's just some well, but then again, like yeah, Tom Brady and Gronk stuff. You had the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had Tom Brady and Gronk, and they obviously won the Super Bowl that year. They had Tom Brady and Gronk. It was, they had just left Boston or the Patriots there. They, like, they, that was, I don't want to say that it was their year, but like, there was a year that they really had to fucking make it. Like, that was their proving their point that Bill Belichick needed him. It, it was a weird fucking story. We just happened to be there. We should have beat them. We probably could have. And the fact that, you know, even we didn't, and it was that sparking, but sparking the Eagles ass to get the Super Bowl the next year. And like, it was like a revenge game. It's like that game probably needed to happen in a weird kind of way, you know? Just like, I'm just trying to get a big picture. But all in all, we got him. Weird fucking score. But we got it. We got a revenge on the Bucks. Fuck them. And it's only because they had Tom Brady and Gronkowski. Not because the actual fucking hits were good. They may have some few other good players here and there. Yeah, I think they'd be some good winners. All in all, it, it, it's just, we had fucking Tom Brady. Tom Brady. I mean, come on. Tom Brady and Gronk, like. Of course you're gonna fucking win. Like, it, 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 it doesn't even, he did, Topper doesn't even need a fucking coach at that point. He can coach himself to win a fucking Super Bowl. Like, he don't need that. Like, so, this, that's irrelevant. That's the fact that he just said, like, I don't even care. The fact that we actually got a revenge now and the fact that they, from, like, even fucking like, what, 20, 15 years ago when they beat us in an actual wild card or conference game from back then to like 2004, 2005. Yeah. Fuck them. That's more what I'm worried about. I don't think we've beaten them since then. And that was just kind of just like, you got to go. Three and zero. Fuck Tampa Bay. Fuck Dallas. Who the hell they are? We know exactly what's going to happen. I know it's going to happen with the Cardinals. I knew that this game that happened with the Cardinals was bound to happen in the next couple of weeks or so. Yeah, they're probably going to win a couple more, maybe. But I don't know if they're going to bounce back from that. All I know is <laughs> you should check out the Five Hundred Five Street. No, I honestly I tried watching it and I couldn't. I honestly had to stop watching. <laughs> it's just so gross, dude. I can't believe you actually did that. <gasps> Ah, really I love you, you're an animal. I fucking love you, dude. Shout out to Clay 500, man. Oh my god, what a, what a, what a, what a little legend. Anyways, I'll kind of, kind of wrap this up a little bit. Just, I don't know how I feel about these last couple of days. I know I've been meaning to try to get something out there for these last couple of Eagles games. Just shit going on. <sighs> get a right situation. Just, just get through that. All kinds of shit situated, but we're kind of back on track. Back on the move. Trying to get shit going with this hockey shit still. Um, figure that shit out. Um, uh, but law, 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 happy for the Eagles here. No, wild card, we're back. I don't, know, I don't know where we're gonna have to go as far as the wild card team. I'm not sure exactly who we're playing. I have to look it up. But go birds, man. I'm telling you. What. Oh, man. Stats are getting crazy. They'll figure this shit out when the time comes on. They'll figure this out. They will. But man, 
I'm ready for Red October. I am ready for Red October, man. I know I'm happy Eagles. The season's still underway. Plenty of games left. Baseball season's basically over. So it's like, yeah, I like this. It's like, man, I'm ready. I'm ready for some, some playoff baseball, man. I'm ready to watch Bryce Harper hit them two, three shot dingers, fucking three, four hundred feet of moon shots. Dude, I'm so ready. Custy, Custy, I know it's fucking banging them. And, oh, dude. Dude, I'm so ready. JT Roberto! Oh my god! <coughs> <coughs> I think he's a catcher, right? I got I, I should have shit. He's one of the best I've seen since Chooch, man. I know, I gotta look that up real quick. I can't even remember who I. It's done so bad. Like, I've been kind of out of, out of it the last couple of days, weeks. Uh, let's see. Okay, he is, he is a catcher. He is the catcher, yeah. Nah, dude. Look. Chooch. Fucking, I, I, I miss, I, I, I miss him, man. Chooch! Carlos Ruiz is probably one of the greatest catchers that they've ever had. Probably besides him. Now, there might have been one or two way back in the day. I don't know if I'm even from then. So correct me if I'm wrong. So I'll, I'll shit you not, dude. I've seen Chooch live a couple of times, dude. Carlos Ruiz, dude. If you were to look up the dictionary word catcher and you're fucking, you would see his fucking face on it. I don't care, dude. Dude was a fucking goat, bro. Home plate was his fucking turf, bro. You don't, dude, dude, like, but JT's on another level too, man. Like, oh my god, this team. This, this, dude, this, this fuck team, my girlfriend hates this shirt sometimes. She gets mad at me because I wear it so much. Sometimes. I don't give a fuck. Sports is, is all, sports, sports is all I know, is all, is all I care about. I live, breathe, die, fucking Philly sports. I don't care. That's all I know, that's all I give a shit about. I don't care about nothing fucking else. All I care about is being an athlete, my teams, and that's fucking it. That's it. I don't care. Philadelphia. I may be in Oregon. But I'm Philly Philly through and through. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this out this hockey shell so I can actually go play tennis and get back to the to the area, New Jersey area, because a lot of the hockey freaking shit's over there. It's like I gotta get I get on the team first. That's still a fucking struggle, fucking three, four years later. Even longer. Just haven't been really documenting it, I guess. But but you know. This is what it is. And we'll, we'll get to that. But the Eagles are three now. So excited about that. This this team is nuts. This team is absolutely nuts. All these teams. But I really can't just talk about the one. It's just like I gotta show love to the Phillies, dude. I, I right October's back again, and I just can't be happy. Like, like dude, I just can't be happy with that. Phillies in a good spot for right now for, for a good while for sports. Um, and it's just. I'm sure the six will figure this shit out, but dude. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Dude, it's just, I can't. <clears throat> this this is our this is our redemption. This is the revenge, this is the revenge tour here. I'm 100% guaranteed sure. This is the revenge tour from last year. Three championship games, three losses. I think each play team is going to run it back. And I always, I can't get that thing, but. Union, they're on the right fucking trajectory. The Eagles are on the right path. I mean, the Phillies are a fucking juggernaut. Yeah, I know we're a World Card team. Fuck that, though. We're a fucking juggernaut. We went through our shit, though. Fuck that. That's what made us better. That's what made us stronger. You know, grow through adversity, whatever. I'm, you know, trying to live and live through that shit, too. My fuck, this Phillies team has been through shit. See, like something I'm always advised if you don't play like you should, you don't don't play once to win, you shouldn't win the game. And if you don't really win, you shouldn't deserve it. It's like, nah, dude. I sometimes you just go through shit, shit happens, and you, you just gotta fight through it. And then you get your spot, you get you prove that you deserve to be in that fucking wild card, and you deserve that fucking hand to get in the, in the playoffs. And you fucking thing happen, man. You just it's like going all in a poker, man. You just fucking pushing all your chips in the middle and just fucking let's go, turn them over. And just right at the fuck out, going balls to the walls, man. It's, I cannot wait. I, oh my god, I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait. Alright, I should probably, I gotta get up out of here. Gotta take care of a few things, but. Man, Eagles are 3 now. Red October's is here. Let's get it.
Bye, y'all. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.